Hi everybody, hope you're well. Um, I had a request through what was basically what's the easiest way to get divines on the game. So I'm sort of going to just do a quick overview of the divines really quickly with you and then I'll sort of try and get into that. So right now in the game there's 87, or sorry, 89. As you can tell I can't read today. Um, so there's 89 divines right now in the game. And some of them are sellable and some of them aren't. So as you can see, these are all of them. Now, the ones with the little... Uh, Thing says view carbs bonnie sales that means that the art potentially could be um sold in the direct sales or the auctions you can click there and you could have a look there may or may not be horses um for sale just because this is here doesn't mean that somebody's selling it but um it does mean that these ones are saleable so if i have a look here uh, all the slaffners um can be sold and one of the unique ones is the Palomino Slaffner. You can actually um, take all your grey fells if you've all the 12, I think it's 12 types of grey fells. Um, you can actually create one of these. So if we go into Belos, there's five of those and those can all be bought from the sales. If anybody's selling. Grey fell can't be bought from the sales. They sometimes um, come in chests during the Christmas promos and things. You buy like a certain amount of passes and you get a free grey fell. And then we've got the water horses. None of the water horses can be sold. Um, as far as I remember, off the top of my head, and we've got Falabellas. Falabellas can all be bought and sold. Uh, mythological horses, some of those can be, such as the Croesus and the Xanthos and things like that. And then we've got gemstone horses. Um, the only one that's sellable here is the diamond, but to get the diamond horse you have to have all the other types. Um, Gypsium is also sellable. Um, it used to be the Gypsy uh, divine on the game. It was created, turned into a Gypsium lately. And then we've got the solar system divines, and the sun and the earth, sorry, sun and moon can be sold. Um, and then we've got the wind horses and Iliolus, um, which I think, once again, you have to have all the other types of wind ones before you can get Iliolus. So if I just click on that one quickly. So Iliolus is one of the wind divine horses. Um, you win Iliolus once you obtain, obtain all the other divine horses of wind, and this horse can be sold. So you have to have all these other types before you can have that one. And then we've got the Seas and Horses Divines, which was all one of the great challenges, and as far as I know, none of those can be bought or sold. And then we've got the Chinese Horses, and I think the same applies to those. So, right, you decide you want to get a divine, okay? And you figure out what divines you can buy, or what divines that you want, and how you're going to get them. So the most common ways to get them, um, but some of them are totally chance-based. Sometimes you can win them in Horns of Plenty, sometimes you can win them in Titans Challenges, but you could, send, you could spend hundreds of pounds effectively and never get one. That is just the fact of it. Um, but it's probably more effective to, you know, find out what the cheapest divine is in the sales and target that. You know, but if there's a really specific, you know, specific divine that you want, you're obviously, <clears throat> you're going to have to work to get it. So if I just could take a quick look, Falabella is a very popular one for sale. Um, Moon as well, and there's cheap as six passes, but obviously with the Equus on top. So there is a sort of variety, but you could get one for as little as 10. Um, but they can go up to 200 passes and a million Equus. So basically what I'm saying is if you... See one that you can potentially buy in the sales, or maybe you think you could persuade someone to sell, but don't go pestering people unless you think they actually want to sell. If it says on their page, don't ask to buy my divines, don't ask to buy their divines, because they're just going to block you. Um, right, I'm going to actually talk about these specific divines. Um, Slaffner was one of the first type of divines in the game. It goes back a very long time. Um, there didn't used to be the Palomino. Those ones, you can get them for not too much, really. I've seen them sell here for maybe 20, 30 passes, but it does depend on the version on the server and how popular they are and how many they are in number. Um, Belios is a very, usually a very expensive divine because it gives you a next pack on the 19th of every month if you actually produce it, but if you buy it from somebody else, it's only every three, every three months. So... Um, most of these divines, okay, most of these divines, there's a Christmas, they usually do a Christmas thing. They might not do it in the future, but usually they do. You buy 100 passes. You get to pick whatever divine you want, but there's some that don't count. 
then there'll be a, usually a smaller pack, a 30 pass pack. So if you buy 30 passes, you can pick a divine, but it'll not be um, as fancy a divine, if that's the way to put it. Um, generally, to get something like a Baelos, you're going to have to uh, dish out for those 100 passes, and you're going to have to buy them all in one go. So that's quite expensive. Um, really, I suppose, like, if you're really serious and you find something that you really want, you feel like you can do it, I think the cheapest way really is to go into the direct sales and if you can buy it, do it that way from somebody. You know, save up Equus, save up passes and I've, I've put videos up there on how to earn Equus and how to earn passes. Just hoard them, save them, don't spend them stupidly, really collect and, you know, amass that because that's probably going to be the easiest and most effective way. Now you could be really lucky and you could get it in a promo or a lottery. But the problem with certain lotteries and promos too is you could buy so many tickets, you could buy, open so many horns of plenty or you could do so much in the promo and you still might not get it because there's been times where I've spent a few passes on promo, and I mean a few, and I've got the divine. And there has been other you know promos where friends of mine have spent maybe 40, 50 passes and they haven't got it. So you really need to think smart about it. And if you really set your heart on a certain divine, think realistically, what's the best way I can get it? And there are certain divines that you can't buy. And that's just a fact. And unless you can somehow, you know, save up to get access to, you know, maybe one of those cards. Like if you don't, if you're generally not allowed to buy passes, um, you know, Sainsbury's, for example, and I know maybe if you're not in England or the UK, that's not an option. Um, but, you know, you can buy those uh, cards with prepaid cards. So you go in and you give them £30 or whatever um, on that card, and then you can spend it on here. But, you know, it's not realistic for everybody. I mean, there is really no really cheap way to get a divine. Now, I have got Falabella's for as little as five passes. Um... There was one that I got, which wasn't as cheap as that, but it was relatively cheap. So I decided to do a competition with it where, you know, whenever I reach a certain amount of congratulations, I'm going to give that to whoever gets the top of that. And, you know, um, sometimes people do things like that. Some players will um, have things where they'll, you know, give a divine out in a competition. If you get that divine, maybe it's not the divine you want, but maybe you can trade it for another divine that you do want. So it's a possibility. Um, I think sometimes, uh, there's a habit, like, I find that people contact me and they'll say, I want to buy your divine, and I'll tell them it's not a sellable divine, and it isn't, and then they get really annoyed at me, and I'm like, but it's, I can't actually sell it, you know, it's one of those ones you can't actually sell, because if I, if you don't believe me, <laughs> I will show you, so if I go in divines, alright, and I'm going to pick one that is sellable, alright, like a gypsum, for sake of argument, and pick a graphal. Okay, if I click on the gray file and I click on this, it says explicitly at the bottom this horse cannot be sold. And if I go up to the top here, I click that. I can put it in safe haven, but I can't sell it. So if I go to another one, like my gypsum here, I just need to catch this first. Um, and I go down here and I click. It says this horse can be sold. And if I go up here and I click, it says sell. So I can't actually sell it. So, you know, it's... It's just a case of really spending time. If you think that you can get a, you know, a, a really cheap divine, you know, good on you. But the fact of the matter is, if you want to get a divine, you're going to have to spend time. You're going to have to put in effort. Divines don't come easy. I learned that whenever I played on International years ago. I worked very, very hard, very, very hard, and I couldn't get a divine for a long, long time. And then they did a promotion where if you bought, like, a horse board game, they'd give you a snow. And that's how I got my snow. So, you know, now, those are the ways you can buy, right? But hope is not all lost, okay? There are some divines out there which you can get other ways. So, let me explain. If you're lucky enough to have 12 Grafell, as I mentioned earlier, you can turn one of them into a Palomino Snuffner. If you have, I'm just going to go through these to remember, okay, a mist, and you breed it to, I'm trying to think, snow, 
I'm trying to remember these because this has been so long. I have a missed um international and I just can't remember right now. I'm gonna I'm just gonna do it this way. Okay. Yeah. Some of them are breedable, so missed vine, okay. Uh, can reproduce with snow to give birth to oceans. So, yeah, so if I breed it with a snow, I can get an ocean. And cascades can be bred to get aggressor. Now, one interesting thing, this little frost here. Frost is quite interesting because you don't actually have to... Where did I go into landscapes? You don't actually have to own it to get one. So if I click on frost... I'm going to go back here and see if I can find a frost divine. There we go. Okay, so we've got a frost divine here. And if I click here, you'll see um, every day you can do frost frost from her public profile to try and find a hypnose blanket. On the first of each month, at the time the site is updated, a frost will be offered to one of the players who defrosted one during the previous month. So if you defrost a frost every day, there is a possibility that you might win a frost the next month, okay? And sometimes you'll win a hypnose blanket. So there's an interesting divine that, okay, there's no guarantee, but you could do it and you might get lucky. Um, if we go for mythological divines, um, Crossius, this is another one which you don't have to own um, and you can possibly win it. So if I just click in here and there, and we go down to explanation. So um, on the 13th of every month, the site's update. Crosses will give its owner one pass if the owner logs in the day before. If the 13th of the month falls a Friday, of course, we'll give them two passes. But every month, one horse among the name, those named Junior Crosses, just turned into a Crosses. So, if you name a horse on your account Junior Crosses, okay, and you need to make sure you don't spell it wrong, there is the potential for it to turn into one of them. So... If I just go in here, and I click on one of these, and I put in Junior Crosses. There, that is now. That's all you have to do, okay? It doesn't matter if you... I tend to name all my spare foals that, just because it doesn't actually give me an advantage at all. And doesn't mean that the more you have, the more chance it is. It's just... It's completely random. Um, so that's another one. I'm trying to think, is there any other ones that have these kind of powers... Right now, at this moment, I can't think of them. But there's, you know, there's divines there that are breedable, so if you, you know, can get your hands on one that's breedable somewhere, then you can get two for the price of one, in my opinion. Um, but, you know, there's just... You kind of just have to, to work hard with it. I don't really think there's any, you know, quick way to do it. Um, and I think you have to be smart about it. You know, um, you could save up 20 passes and you could use them all in Horns of Plenty during, a, you know, when a Divine and a Hop promo and you could spend all those 20 passes and you'll not get anything. But as was, you know, a couple of days ago, you could buy Divines in the Seals and in, in your reserved Seals for between 10, 15 and 20 passes. So if you'd saved those 20 passes, you could have bought a Divine or possibly two. Um, because they did a lot of them, so I'm trying to see if they still have them. They don't at the moment, but a couple of days ago they did. You could buy, you know, one, there was, there was certain, certain types, um, there were, you know, of a specified price. So, that to me would be a smarter way, because you're guaranteed to get what you paid for, in that sense. Um, whereas Horns of Plenty and Titans Challenges, so it's just, it's all luck, really. I know this has kind of been a bit of a rant, guys, um, but I hope it's helpful and useful to you, and I hope you've had a lovely day, so bye-bye.